All right, all right. Um, today we're going to learn about the slopes of parallel and perpendicular lines. It's pretty straightforward and easy, so you should know it. That way you don't miss it, okay? First, let's talk about parallel lines, okay? The thing to remember about parallel lines are that they run like railroad tracks. They will never cross. They will always run side by side and never hit each other, okay? Now, the thing that makes this possible is they have the exact same slope. So if you've got one that goes, you know, up to over three, up to over three, and that's your line, the line that's parallel to that is going to also go up to over three, up to over three, and be parallel to that as well, okay? So that means if you have, say, two over three is the slope of one of your lines, the line that's parallel to that, its slope has got to be two over three. Okay, the way also to remember the little sign for parallel, it's right there in parallel. See that? That's the sign for parallel. Um, so let's say you have a line with a slope of one half. What's the slope of a line parallel to that going to be? One half. Say you have a slope of a line that is eight. What's parallel to that? Eight. Okay, what about seven and negative seven? Are they parallel? No, because they have to be the exact same. Seven's parallel to seven. Negative seven's parallel to negative seven. That's parallel. Parallel means the exact same slope. Cannot be different at all. Because if they're different at all, then one of those lines is turned just a little bit up. Then guess what? As soon as they keep going, they will crash into each other. Now with perpendicular lines, it's not quite as easy as whatever it is, that's what it is, but it's, it's not too hard either. Um, I call it um, switch, well if I can write, switch and flip. A lot of people call it the, um, I don't know, opposite reciprocal, but I call it this because, well, it's easier. Okay, switch and flip. Therefore, if you have like 2 over 7. All right, and then this is a sign for perpendicular, okay, just so you know, because when two lines are perpendicular, all that means is that they cross and they make a right angle, okay? So if like one goes right here, then the other line has to go right there, and that makes them perpendicular. That little box means perpendicular because they make a right angle. Makes a right angle. Makes a right angle, okay? So it makes it 90 degrees in there. So that's perpendicular. Now, this is the sign for perpendicular. Now, let's move on to learn what the slopes look like. If the slope of one of your lines is 2 over 7, you want to know what the slope of a line that is perpendicular to that is. Do the whole switch and flip. You switch the sign, which this is positive over here, because there's nothing there, so it means it's positive, so you make it a negative, and then flip over the line. So that 2 goes to the bottom, 7 goes to the top. Okay, and that's perpendicular to that. Um, so let's do some more just to practice. Let's say you got 1 over 3. You want to go perpendicular. Switch the sign, it's now negative. Switch it over the line, it's 3 over 1. What does 3 over 1 simplify to? Just a negative 3. Okay, now let's say you've started with a negative 5. Perpendicular to that. You switch the sign, now it's positive, which means you don't have to write anything. And then you switch it over the line. Now you're thinking, there's no line right here. What do you know this is always over? 1. Therefore, you switch it to 1 over 5, and it's a positive. Um, okay, let's do some more examples. Let's just, let's just smash examples all up and down this mug. So say you got 3. What's perpendicular to that? Negative 1 over 3. What's perpendicular to 18 over 2? It would be negative 2 over 18, which both of those need to be simplified. Um, let's see. Let's say what's perpendicular to negative 3. Well, it'd be positive 1 over 3. What is perpendicular to 7 over 5? It'd be negative 5 over 7. Everybody getting the picture here? Well, let's keep going. All right, 4 over 8. Well, it should be 1 half. And what's perpendicular to that? Negative 2. See, I could be negative 2 over 1, but I need to drop that because it doesn't matter. I'm going to say negative 2. Say 1 over 40. Negative 1 over 40. Let's make it positive 40. Okay, it would be 40 over 1, but it simplifies. All right, so that's essentially the switch and flip method, or you could call it opposite reciprocal, whatever you want to call it. Just remember, that's what you do for perpendicular. For slope, they're the exact same. And now you know. 
Hey, thanks for showing up. Give me a subscribe and check out TarverAcademy.com. Pizza?